In this video, you will learn how to search the library resource called Facts on File to find background information on your topic and allow you to explore other related topics. We'll review how to scan reports for keywords and phrases, use a valuable search tip to retrieve more precise results, and a bit about how search works. Facts on File contains short reports on current issues that are controversial in nature. Once logged in from the WVC Library page, this is the Facts on File default page. You'll notice West Valley College in the upper right corner, which means you are officially logged in. From here, click on Issues and Controversies. One quick note here, please ignore this Create Account or Sign In link in the upper right. You are already logged in via the West Valley College page. When you come to the Issues and Controversies page, you will have the option to browse report titles on different subjects. If you're unsure about your topic, this is a great way to get acquainted with the issues. Let's say you're an Administration of Justice major and you want to do a report on issues regarding crime, but you are still unsure of your topic. Check out the Crime, Law, and Judicial System area here. Clicking on DNA Evidence gives me a list of reports falling under that category. The only thing I don't like about this list is it doesn't give you the dates of the reports right up front. You will need to click on them to see the date. As a general rule, you want to look for reports written within the last three to five years, but you still may be able to use older reports as a jumping off point to more current research and other resources. For example, looking at the chronology area here shows you the major milestones on the topic, and this will give you some historical context. Most of you will approach Facts on File with a topic in mind. In the search box at the top, I'll type in women's rights. Here is the list of all the reports that have the two words women's and rights anywhere in the report, 491 records. The search looked for both words anywhere in the document, and it ranks the results in relevancy order so that the reports with those words in the title or close to the top of the report appear first in the list. Notice that the second report has just the word women in the title, but not rights. The third report has rights, but not women. That's because the search engine is looking for either word anywhere in the report, and the word women's appears somewhere else, but not as a phrase as I had intended. Okay, let's do this search one more time with women's rights in a set of double quotes. Putting a phrase of two or more words in double quotes tells the system to search that exact phrase. And this tip works in practically every library search box, and even with Google searches. That results in 84 hits. This search is more precise, and so using the double quotes will narrow down your results. This is a good tip to utilize when you get too many results. There are two things to keep in mind when looking at results. The type of article and the date. You want to find pro-con articles. These first two are encyclopedia entries, which won't give you the differing opinions you need from a pro-con article. You can limit your results to pro-con only by using the filter on the right. Next, look at the date of publication. Since they are listed in relevancy order, the top results will be in the first two pages. As I proceed down the list, I see a very recent report on the Me Too movement. This is very relevant to women's rights, so why was it so far down the list? It's because the term women's rights wasn't used in the title or in the first few paragraphs of this report. It was buried down in the ninth paragraph, so the search algorithm ranked it lower down the list. That's why it's good to browse and be open to looking a bit further afield in your initial search. You never know what you might find. What I like about Facts on File is that you get a quick look at the supporters and opponents' views right away, giving you a clear view of the debate itself. When reading these background reports, it's important to look for three things. The first is, what about women's rights do you want to research? Women's rights in itself is too broad. What about women's rights? When looking at the supporters' argue section, it reviews several issues you can choose. Women's rights as it pertains to the wage gap, women in politics in this next paragraph, and so on. Keeping that in mind, briefly review the different sections of several reports. The key is to find a subtopic within women's rights to research. The second thing is to find different perspectives on the topic. Facts on File has that built right in for you. The third thing to look for are keywords or similar phrases. It's good to have a bunch of synonyms because you'll be searching other sources for information such as Google and other library databases, 
and they may use different keywords. Here in the title is the phrase gender equality, which is a similar phrase to women's rights. Going to the supporters argue page, there's a section on the wage gap. And here I also see it is also called the gender pay gap. These are similar phrases to jot down. To review, in Facts on File and in many other library databases, first search your keyword or phrase. Use double quotes around two or more word phrases, such as women's rights. This will get you more precise results. Look at the results, keeping in mind that there might be a gem of a report a few pages down the list, like we ran into with the Me Too movement report. Find a subtopic that interests you. Then go ahead and look for synonyms and alternative phrases. And that's it. If you need any assistance, please call the library. We are here to help.